Hi and welcome back to Greenstone Ivy. So I'm out in Havisage in the Peak District today. It's actually really close to my workshop and my house. It's the next village along. Beautiful spot. So I'm actually here because a local lady called Helen's contacted me about doing a memorial for her, her mum. I actually did her dad's on here. So this um, this stone here had a fault on the surface, crack on it. So I polished this back and recarved this all and repainted it. What I'll do, I'll take some pictures of this and stick them on the screen so you can see closer, closer detail. But there isn't enough space on this one. So we've had a look around the churchyard um, and a couple of them have got like a half moon, a curve in the bottom or the top. Uh, you can put it wherever you like um, with a memorial on it. So we're going to do that for her mum. So I've just nipped up to get some measurements. Bought the notepad and pen. It's raining. Well, it was raining. It's just stopped. I actually bought my um, waterproof notepad. It's uh, like army, uh, army issue ones. One of my uh, children's... Um, at Harrogate in the foundation college there and um, I picked it up when we went to pick him up on his passing in parade brilliant really for when it's raining so it's uh, really good the waterproof paper on there one other thing I'd say while I'm here like you hear the church bells again is that one of the headstones behind me has actually got my name on it so uh, I'll take a picture of that as well and put it on the screen if you see that's always a little bit creepy so yeah, I'll take these measurements now. I've got most of them already. Um, I'll just finish it up and then we'll get in the van. We'll get back to the workshop. We'll uh, design something up, cut some stone and we'll get doing some carving. So you've just seen me shape all that up. It's um, that was actually yesterday. I um, got it all shaped up and marked up and polished up. But something else came up where I had to prep for a job, um, so I had to leave it. So this has been on my workbench all night. I have got the lettering marked on. Not happy with the spacing on this um, this one here for the ten. So I've just I've just rubbed it out a little bit. It's still drying uh, where it's been wet. So once that's all dry and carved, I'll put that back in at the end. Just nipped to my local harbour, still get some new safety glasses. Mine are all scratched, um, I'm kind of, instead of looking through them, I'm kind of looking at the scratches, they're not comfortable to uh, wear anymore. So I just need to get some more, but they didn't have the ones I normally have. Same style, same brand, but these ones are tinted, so um, I'm going to have to order some online. So if you see me today looking like I'm going uh, sunbathing, that's why. Yeah. Not keen on them at all. They're going to have one outing and that's today only. And then they're going to get stuck in the back of a cupboard and be classed as emergencies. Um, yep, so I'm going to sharpen the chisels. Well, I've already sharpened the chisels. Um, I've just done it off camera and I'm going to get doing a little bit of carving.
attached normal stone all finished up all painted all uh, all carved and painted and then the seal on I'm going to actually lay it down let it dry never a good idea to leave it stood up when you've got the seal on there or the paint so with the seal if you're collecting any of the corners on the carving you don't want to dry it overnight and leaving run marks on there so I'll get that laid down um, just put something over it just so you don't get bits of dust on there or settle and dry in so then that'll be ready to go I'll take that down to have this tomorrow um, let it put it in place and then let the family know thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you next time